Let's go to Ian Lavery. Ian. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. As eloquently highlighted by my right honourable friend, the Leader of the Opposition, recent reports have revealed that during the, the pandemic, the loss in learning has been absolutely catastrophic. The North East is once again sadly trailing the field. And in some subjects, more than double the loss of other regions. The attainment gap, which has been mentioned, uh, between the most and least affluent areas is set to grow potentially at 10 to 24 percent. That's desperate, you know, really desperate. The government's catch up funding is quite simply derisory, too small, too narrow, too slow. Our comments have been articulated by the former education recovery chief before his unfortunate resignation. Prime Minister, the parents in Wandsbeck, in my constituency, are listening. You've got a wonderfully privileged educational background. Can you use it to explain how, how 20 pence per day helps kids in my patch catch up? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Mr Speaker, I, I can tell the right the honourable gentleman that he's, uh, again, I, I'm afraid what he's saying is completely wrong. The sums are huge that we're already investing in education and we've announced a, a £3 billion additional uh, package of catch-up, including the biggest, uh, not just investing in teacher training, another 400 million uh, to help teachers improve their, uh, their qualifications as they, uh, as they go up the ladder, but also uh, the biggest t tuition programme in the history of this country, the biggest anywhere in the world. And that will make a huge difference uh, to young people in Wandsbeck and across the country. Um, many kids are getting uh, private tuition at the moment, Mr Speaker, or loads aren't. Uh, we want to level up.